here to the United States when I was 10 years old. Um, here I do most of the belly stuff, paint blocks, sandboards, varnishing, installing the finished harp, everything involved in the belly. My dad started working at Stanwood before me and my brother. He said, uh, let me get you into Stanway, see what I can do. So then in 2013, he got me in position in the um, action department. It was like small pieces of the action, not the whole thing. But that was like a thousand pieces a day. But then uh, when Galo saw my, my skills and my hand, uh, he said, oh, this guy got pretty good hands, why he wasting time? They don't let him do more work, uh, like pin blocks or sounds. I saw him, that guy, he working everywhere. One day at lunchtime, and uh, I'm asking him, listen, uh, you want to learn doing belly or something different because you're not going to be there all the time. You say, well, if you want to teach me. And I say, well, if you want to learn it, you can come in every lunchtime. I can teach you. I say, yeah, but uh, it was not like I could just walk there and he could teach me, like, because we have to get the production done. So I will, during my lunch breaks, I will go to him while he goes get lunch. I will eat my food and then wait for him. And so he comes back while he's eating. He's also teaching me. So I teach him sharpening. And after I started notching the breeches, and all those, all those, I mean, prepare him for be a belly man. My name is Galo Torres. I'm the senior scrapman in Lindeblad. I do the soundboard spin blocks and suspected all the kind of job over here. Well, I was 20 years old when I started doing all the carpenters, all that kind of stuff. And after that, I went to Stanway. Thanks to Stanway, I know what I know. I know all the knowledge about Sambor, thanks to Stanway. And those times, they pay people for teaching. And after that, I'm staying belly line all the time, like a belly man. So it's going to be like a 30 years belly. At the beginning, as a teacher, he would give me like the hardest wood to work on. It was like, use this wood and try this out, and the wood was so hard that I ended up cutting myself. And it was, uh, yeah, difficult. I think that was like a nice way to teach because it became easier for me throughout the time. When you learn the old craftsman, I mean like at the old school, those guys, they, I mean, you got to do it this way, the traditional way, how Stan was started with. Just keep it the same line, the same system, right? That's the way you got to teach him. You got to keep it in the base, how you learn it first. And you keep it that line. I give it to them the line, how is the process of Stan way. It's not my way, it's a stand way. I transmit it to him. We gotta keep it the line running all the time. Generation for the next generation. The traditional craftsman is going, and uh, it's not gonna be like uh, you prepare all the wood for a sandboard. Now the wood is gonna be ready for the sandboard. Yes, you need it to glue. Nothing is you gonna make it by your hands. It's not like it before. You have to be craftsman to work in pianos. When they take him away the craftsmanship, they started like a new era for the soundboard and standway. So they try to make it like standard soundboard for each piano. Not like a, when you started the craftsmanship, you install each soundboard for each 
piano. So that's why before 2000, right, you can say each piano is different than the other one. But now they try to make it like a standard piano. One sound for everyone. That's why the customer, they like Lindenblatt. Because over here, it's not just a piece of furniture. We bring it back. We bring it back the sounds. Because many customers, they want piano back. They want it sound the same like before. They, they want sound the same like a piano. That you that you feeling inside, you're feeling, wow. There's the piano. It's back again. I could say he, he's passing me on everything he's learned of the piano. And I collect all that and put it with what I know. And hopefully someday I'll pass it on to someone else. We are a team here. Most of the stuff I learned come from Galo. Find another guy like that? Well, if you saw me that way, it's not easy to find another guy like that. It's confidence and he got the knowledge. He's learning a lot. He's doing many things over here.